The Word for Today, written by Bob and Debbie Gass. Harmony at Home. It's never okay to explode at those God entrusts in your care. The Bible says, don't get so angry that you sin. Don't go to bed angry and don't give the devil a chance. Ephesians 4, 26-27 Satan would like nothing better than to gain entry to your home and turn it into a living hell. And every time you fly into a rage, you lose ground to him. That's why the scriptures say, it's smart to be patient, but it's stupid to lose your temper. Proverbs 14, 29. The key to managing your anger lies in finding healthy ways to express it so that it doesn't end up hurting more than helping. It's important to share your feelings, but you must always do it in the right way. Ultimately, it's not about who's right and who's wrong, or who can shout the loudest. It's about finding the solution that's best for everyone. Understand this. Nobody can be everything you want them to be all the time. It's impossible to have a long-term loving relationship without learning to accept human weakness. So instead of dwelling on one another's shortcomings, focus on your collective strengths as a family. Clinical neuropsychologist Paul Pearson says, most of us would give our own life for a family member, yet we lead our daily life too often as if we take our family for granted. Learn to control your temper. Your family is worth it. After all, who else loves you regardless of what you do? And where can you go to find the comfort and strength that comes from that kind of support system? <music>